for is more than simply the gift the Corinthian church is giving. But I believe that he could be talking about the gift of giving itself. The fact that when we give, it causes God to be glorified and people praise God and people in turn give thanks to God for what we have done. It is a great gift that God has given us. One that is too great for words. Think about it. As you give without the desire for a return, you are sure to get a return. Not money, not lands, but blessings that go far beyond that. Also, you get to be a part of the orchestra that brings glory to God. Think. When you give, you are part of the orchestra that raises up the name of Jesus, that brings honor and glory to God. So as you get ready for 2015, instead of asking yourself how you can improve yourself, ask yourself how you will bless others in this coming year. Take to heart that God has and will bless you with all you need to be a blessing to others. And then be purposeful about it. Be systematic about it. Be generous as God is generous to you. Let's pray. Lord, we just come and we thank you for just this wonderful reminder that you want us to give. And that when we give, um, your name is glorified and people will praise you and we will receive great blessing in return. And we thank you for that. And so I pray that we would take to heart that it is better to give than it is to receive we ought to be looking for whatever ways we can to be a blessing to others in 2015. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.